Okay, from the Delaware Jet Factory, I'm here to test some uh, servos I received from OMG. Uh, these servos are very reasonably priced, and they come with uh, all the mounting mounting tabs and some plastic uh, arms. And I'm going to be doing my testing with the metal arm. So uh, here we go. Uh, so this is what's in the package: uh, the servo itself, uh, all the arms, and uh, uh, rubber grommets and uh, the mounting hardware and uh, I got some accessory metal arms. So the dimensions of the servo with the arms is uh, 54.16 millimeter. The case is 39.98 millimeters long. forty one point two four high and twenty point one nine wide so I had this hooked up to a power box uh, and it's on one channel of a Futaba receiver the, the power box is a dual battery system that's set to five point nine volts so the transit time is pretty fast I don't I don't have the I don't have uh, devices here to measure the transit time but it's up there with most of the other servos I use there is very little play in this uh, as it's as it stands inside the case there's a bearing up here so I would say it has about the, the average amount of play So the power box is set to 5.9 volts, and uh, the current drain with no load is as follows. It's about half an amp. Now I'm going to put various loads on here, see what it goes to. Okay, here's my little test trig. I'm going to just test what the current draw is at different weights. So I have a, a, a container here full of lead shot hooked up to the servo on the throttle channel. When I no, it's it's resting on the scale. When I go full throttle, then the weight comes up. So at 50 ounces of weight. Draws about, you know, 0.3 amps going up, and the holding amps is 0.12. Okay, at the, oops, at 100 ounces, it's actually 103 ounces, but that's good enough. Uh, the current drain is just a little bit more. And there's no, no difficulty lifting that amount of weight. Okay, this is 170 ounces, which is all the lead shot I happen to have. So we'll lift it up. It has no problem doing that. Amp draws only a tiny bit more. So I would say this is a good general purpose sports servo. It has definitely has some good gearing in it. Quick response. I wouldn't be afraid to I wouldn't be afraid to put it in any pretty much any plane. As you can see at 170 some ounces, it's it's definitely pulling. Now it would pull more weight if it was in the, the a hole closer to the uh center line of the oh, servo arm. But this is a good test. Here again, here's a servo in free state. And after all this testing, I, I can detect 
there's no more no more difference in, in end play. I've, I've been fooling with it for like a half hour, 45 minutes here. So this is the weights that I use just for this quick test. So 100, almost 170 ounces. That's 4,720 grams. Um, 10 pounds, 6.5 ounce. 4.720 kilos. 10.420 pounds. And almost 170 ounces. I mean, that's a pretty good amount of weight. Which I would say the servo would work fine in pretty much any sport plane or any plane really. Looking good.